everyone. Today we have another Wee Wednesday and we're making sun catchers and it's a very loose term. We kind of don't know what we're doing, so we're yeah. not sure what it's my I'll first look like. time, but I look forward to make it. Yeah. And maybe so. you can teach me how to do that. Like, uh, how to get started, basically. I have no idea. I feel like the basics of it is we're gonna have a strand. It's going to need to be more durable than, let's say, thread or like elastic. Mm. And not be as fragile in the wind. The way that I've logically worked this out in my head is that we need a hook at the top, a hook at the end where it attaches to the star of the show, which is the yeah, glass droplet. Yeah. So we got a, a good number of glass ones to try out and experiment. So I thought, why not make this a fun, a fun afternoon? And my mom has got her tea and we're gonna get some snacks yep. and, just, mm -hmm. and just craft. Okay, let's get started. How long do you want the finished product? This? Yeah. It's really long. Do we have enough beads? And just bend it. Oh. Mm. It's round. And then we can just twist it. Twist it. Yeah, my mom's little bike. She wanted to exhibit it in today's video. Yeah, look at the color. Vintage, right? Yeah, why not this is not bend? This whole project came about because we discovered lovely handmade beads at a boutique run by a family of artists. And in order to make this economically possible, we had to get filler beads from the craft store. So it was really about using these special ones and we handpicked a bag full of them. A third of it is for jewelry making, but I just love these wounded glass beads. I was just talking about the technique over my last Patreon podcast episode actually. <laughs> yeah, you have to mix it with this, this. Maybe you should first start with a tiny one. It will end the knot. The rest of the process is just arbitrarily mixing and matching until you really like something that you ended up with. So my only advice is just have fun with it. <laughs> <笑>其实你别说这个小的还有用 yeah,真的很开心啊。看那些人真的是我好佩服他們啊,一百零幾度,然後站在那個就坐店外面。<laughs> maybe there's a Labor Day sale? Yeah, yeah,一定是有的. Oh, uh, yeah, so maybe they just really want the sale. Yeah. 我以前就是這樣,我告訴你,我以前幹的什麼事啊。我把我喜歡的衣服,我就突然找個地方藏起來。比如說是小孩的衣服,突然我就找了 yeah. <laughs> Me too, I did that a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And back then, there's so much beautiful clothes. Look at the picture. And you know that 80% from Swift Store. Look at Swift Store, and this is what we need to go. And we came to the street, and the person told us that every day at 9 o'clock, we will have a new thing to come out. You have that time. And we came to the street. 那个时候的风啊,然后呢,你知不知道那个时候一个被子,很好的像新的baby的被子,才99cent。还是很美啊,虽然还没有做完。你还是可以。可爱啊。All yeah, along we've meant for this to go hanging under the grapevines, but there's more shade than we thought. Now with the awning up and everything and the foliage has really grown. We're trying to find a nice sunny spot, but I guess the point is more for it to be decorative than to have a bunch of rainbows everywhere. This is what the effect looks like. It shows up really well in the shadows, but it's still a little something. And over time, we can always move in and change things up. We used a zip tie to hook it up to the wooden beam, and you can't tell, but it is 105 degrees out there. So we were only there momentarily, and to me, it looks a little bit bare and lonely. So over time, as we collect more beads, we're definitely going to make hopefully a row of them and add to it. 
With a handful of beads we had left over, after dinner my mom made a small sun catcher for the car, which is so cute. Again, it doesn't catch sun like crazy, but that's probably for the best that it's not too glary or distracting while you're driving. I made mine with the intentions of hanging up in my room, specifically my art studio. So generally my color palette is always pastel with pops of red and green, which is my favorite color combination at the moment. And I just knew Bambi was going to come up here. I also decided to make mine significantly shorter than my mom's. It's a personal preference, the proportion of the bead width to the length of the whole thing. The first one I made is, in my mom's words, hodgepodge style, just a lot more shabby chic and fun. And in the other two, I'm trying to bring out the specialness of the handmade beads we got. So I used a lot more of the same beads. My absolute favorite is that bright red one. I also made a small one for my car, but I realized that this would look really great on a handbag. And the other two I ended up hanging in front of my window. It's dimmer in here, so it looks so cute scattered on the studio wall. The original plan was to hang them on the balcony and it's supposed to dangle in the wind, but I couldn't get the screw hook to go in the wood. Need a drill. And that didn't really work either. Huh. Finally, a nail and hammer did the trick, and then I realized I didn't like that position anyway because the sun won't shine it into the room. So I put it up on the window of the door, and then I ended up moving everything inside later when I realized that it wouldn't get damaged from wind and rain. So that's all folks for this wee Wednesday. This is a very fun and easy craft to do. Also, if you're more serious about getting a sparkle and you want a lot of rainbows, then get something that's not these glass beads because these are meant to go on kind of like chandelier fixtures where there's a ton of them. So they don't deflect light like crazy, but I have seen more like spherical glass pendants with a lot of surfaces like facets cut into it that will glow a lot more. For our purposes, we were just really casually doing this. We didn't want to think too hard or go online to get things ahead of time. Most of all, we got to put these glass beads that we got as souvenirs into our decor. You get to add a pop of color into your room. You can hang it outside, inside, on your wall, in your dorm. You can bend the wire in spirals, but I felt that for my specific one, it really took away from my color combination and such so I just bent it back into a straight line and you can tie them into all kinds of shapes like circles triangles it does not have to be a straight line but I hope that this gives you some ideas if you're interested in doing something like this years down the line if you're sick of this and these beads are good for jewelry or anything else you want to repurpose them into so that's that. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing part of your day with us. And I will see you in just a few days. And I hope that you're taking care, resting well, and staying safe in this time. And always. Oh my god, it's hard. I'm already tired. I don't know how to do it. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I feel like I'm going to do this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, everything like you start filming and you get, you're gonna think about it and you're gonna like perform. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, how late, how late.